Bonjour à tous! Hey everybody! So today was Saturday and I did nothing. Basically nothing. Um, I did not sleep well last night at all. So the subject for today's video is insomnia and things that work for everyone else that don't work for me. And then I will provide you with my actual solution that occasionally works. <laughs> Most of the time it does. I just didn't have any on me last night and I was just like... Ooh. So, usually when people have insomnia, they will tell you that you should listen to soft calming music, preferably instrumental, which it's calming, it's soothing, it's great, and usually works for normal people. Something else I've heard is that you should drink something warm before you go to sleep, like a uh, warm tea or hot chocolate or something, probably less sugary than that. Um, I've heard mixing like hot water and honey and lemon is good and will soothe you and you'll just go to sleep i don't know it's also a vocal singer's trick to keep your voice all nice don't know if that works i'm not really a singer so hey then there's the good old count sheep this is the technique that really means bore yourself to sleep. Force yourself to think about something incredibly boring, and then you'll fall asleep. I don't know anyone who actually follows that advice. <laughs> I don't know why people think it works, but somehow that seems to be the thing that people say, count sheep. That makes no sense to me, but hey, if it works, go ahead. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's the three solutions I have heard. None of these work on me, and I hate it. I hate it. Also, insomnia has a lot of different causes. If you're awake because you're anxious about something, which does happen to me sometimes, you need to logic your way out of it. Honestly, that's how it works for me. I logic my way out of it. Uh, there's a great video that is about battling anxiety. It's with Lily Singh. Look it up. Um, different ways. There's this one part of the video where she's about to go to sleep and the anxiety comes in. And they're just like, okay, let's go over everything you did wrong today. Blah, 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 blah. Then they go, okay, but tomorrow. So that video will also help with that, if that's what's causing your insomnia. Little things to do with that. And then there's the staying awake because your brain is too active. That's me all the time. That's what was happening last night. My brain will not shut up. I'll be thinking too much about something. I will be thinking too much, period. It won't, it won't shut up. I don't know how to exhaust my brain. I don't know how that works. If you have any tips for that, please. <laughs> and... One thing that I use sometimes that kind of works is melatonin. This stuff. Now, melatonin is like this chemical thing that induces a neurotransmitter that allows you to sleep. I think. Google it. Don't take my word for it, but I, that's what I remember from AP Psych class. That's why melatonin works most of the time. However, like any other drug, you can become habituated to it. Now, habituation is the process of your body adjusting to 
having a certain substance in your body and needing more of it to have an effect on you. That is why antibiotics need to be changed all the time. You can't run, you go through certain antibiotics and you can't use the same one every time because the bacteria will know how to fight it. Same thing with your brain. The substances you put in your body, you kind of adjust to it. You get used to it, so you've got to change it up. So, that that's happened to me. I'm habituated to that. Can't use it. Great. The one thing, and this is going to sound so weird to a lot of people, the one thing that works for me to get to sleep or to tire me in general is caffeine. Okay, I hear some of you going, caffeine, ca that makes no sense. What? That powers you up to go. That That's what I drink in the morning to wake up. No. Newsflash. I have ADHD. And some people with ADHD, stimulants become depressants and depressants become stimulants. Or sometimes. For me, caffeine makes me tired. Yep. Thank you, Attention Deficit Disorder. Yep, that, that's that's fun. It's a lot of fun, guys. I'll do another video on it probably at some point. But basically, I will drink something caffeinated to make me go to sleep. Usually works. I didn't have any caffeine on me last night, and it takes forever to brew coffee here in France because they do the drip method, so it just wasn't worth it. <laughs> Also, I don't know how their coffee machine works. I don't make coffee. Someone teach me how to make coffee in the comments, please. Like instructions, general instructions on how to do this because I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to my life. But that is insomnia. Hope you guys enjoyed that or at least if it wasn't really enjoyable, you can use this as a video to help you go to sleep. And because, you know, I care about your sleep. I care about everyone's sleep because sleep is a beautiful thing. I think we can all agree about that. So, I hope you're having a good day, night, wherever you are, and I will see you tomorrow. Au revoir. Bye, everybody.